In this session, we're going to look at using PHP MyAdmin to create a query. First of all, we're going to open up PHP MyAdmin. We're going to log on as the root with no password. And we're going to select the database we want to query. So in this case, it will be shipwrecks. And we're going to select the table that we want to query. In this case, it's the shipwrecks table. Currently, this is all the data. Now, if we want to perform an SQL query, we select SQL, it will open up a dialog for us. At the moment, it's got select all from shipwrecks where one, which means all the results, where it's all true. So if I click on go, we'll actually have the results of that. And you can see the SQL up the top here. We can actually create the PHP code. An SQL has now created us a SQL line. We can copy and paste in our PHP script. You notice at the moment it does have a limit of 30. So now we can limit the results by looking for, say, a style of ship that might be a cutter. So if we select on SQL, once again we can come in. So we can have a look now at the type. So where, and rather all results, we can actually say type is equal to, and then we use the quotes again, cutter. And then we can actually run this. So this is now resulted once again. So it's showing row 0 to 29. There are 58 cutters in total. And as we go through, we should be able to look at the type. And you notice that down this column here, they are all cutters. And if we want to, we can actually see what the SQL would look like. So if we look at create PHP and the SQL, we can actually get our SQL line here. Now remember that the backslashes will not be used in our script. So what we're going to do is just copy this out now. So I'm just going to copy that and head back to my PHP. And what I want to do is substitute this SQL line right here for our query. So when I insert the new one, you notice it's select star from shipwrecks where type equals. And what we want to do is remove those backslashes. If we leave them in there and we run this, We get all the results that are required, but in our code, it doesn't look the best. But you can see that the SQL works directly. If we want to see the type now in our output, we can come down to here and add in a break. So remember the dot is a concatenator. So if I want a comma between them, and then I want to add the type. So once again, I'm gonna, you might have dollar sign row. I've got dollar sign item. So I'm gonna copy and paste that here. And then I'm, rather than name a vessel, you need to put the field name. And the field name for us is type. And I'm just going to put more of a space afterwards. And then we have another dot here for concatenator to put the break on the end. Save that. Refresh. You can now see that we have got the, the boat name and then the type of the boat. And you can see all the cutters down there. We can format the output into a table with use HTML and you can apply those skills from a previous video. So that's how we can use PHP MyAdmin to create our SQL queries and remembering when we update the query we need to adjust the output to show the fields that we want to result from the tables.